Ngayon naman ay pag-aaralan natin kung paano mag-evaluate or mag-solve ng mga summation notation. Now, ang summation notation is basically given by this particular format. So, kailangan alam nyo kung paano magbasa ng summation notation para matutunan nyo kung paano mag-evaluate ng problems similar to this one. So, here, meron tayong summation of 2 and from 1 to 5, wherein yung 5, yan yung tinatawag na upper limit, at itong nandito naman sa baba will be your lower limit. At yung function nyo na gagamitin nyo sa pag-evaluate ng summation notation will be 2n. Now, ang tamang pagbasa ng summation notation will be summation of the function 2n from 1 through 5. So, pag sinabing summation, in mathematics, ibig lang sabihin nun, eh, kailangan yung i-add lahat ng terms from 1 through 5 using the function. So, pwede rin siyang tawagin na sigma notation kasi itong Greek letter na to, yan yung tinatawag nating sigma. Now, ito yung mga example ng sigma notation na makikita nyo sa word problems or sa mga problems natin today. Meron tayong summation of n squared from 0 to 3, summation of x plus 3 from 7 to 6, and summation of 2 over h from h equal to 0 to the positive infinity. Now, yan yung mga examples ng mga tinatawag na sigma notation. And for today, aalamin natin kung paano mag-evaluate or mag-solve ng mga notations or mga sigma notation tulad nito. So, sa una example natin, let's evaluate 2n from 1 to 5. Now, to evaluate this, sabi ko katulad kanina ng sigma notation, ibig lang sabihin nun, kailangan yung i-add sila isa-isa mula 1 to 5. At yun yung gagawin natin. So, yung 2n nyo na yung function nyo, meron tayong 2n, 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 and 2n. But since ini-evaluate natin siya from 1 to 5, I'm replacing every n ng 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, yan yung pag-evaluate ng summation notation. So, gagamitin nyo yung function and then substitute the variable which here is equal to n ng mga numbers from 1 to 5. Now, to evaluate the summation notation, 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 4 is 8, and 2 times 5 is 10. Now, summation, which means to add them all up, 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 plus 10 is equal to 30. Therefore, yung summation ng 2n from 1 to 5 is simply equal to 30. At yan yung pag-evaluate ng summation notation. Alam, dapat alamin nyo lang kung paano yung pagkakasunod-sunod, ano yung lower limit, yung upper limit, at yung function na gagamitin nyo. Now, sa second example ko, meron akong 2n plus 5 from 3 to 5. So, ibig sabihin nun, papaltang ko yung letter n, ng mga numbers from 3 to 5. So, yung first term ko will be 2 times 3 plus 5. Second term will be 2 times 4 plus 5. Third term will be 2 times 5 plus 5. So, magsastop ako sa 5 kasi yun yung upper limit ko. Hindi na ako um, uusad pa sa 6, sa 7, sa 8 kasi ang upper limit natin is sa 5 lang. So, kailangan alam nyo kung paano mag-uumpisa, kung saan magsa-start, at kung saan kayo magtatapos. Now, you have 6 plus 5, 8 plus 5, and 10 plus 5 by simplifying yung first step. And 11 plus 13 plus 15 is 56. So, the summation of 2n plus 5 from, n th from 3 to 5 is equal to 56.